welcome back. So this is chapter three. So remember from last time we finally got the paint, which is very, very disturbing to do. And our pitch is looking a bit more deformed than what we were hoping, but you never know what's gonna happen. So let's get cracking. The form emerges. <laughs> Kids paint here. You. Nothing in there. Anything here? No. Okay, that room's been locked off for some reason. That room has as well. Okay. Right, did we have a bars there and we blew it in, blew it over, or was that clear if you own eggs can fly through? Anyway, that's something I can do. Let's... Right, hopefully I can still be heard now a bit better. So let's see what in here, I don't mean to hurt you. Okay, so I can't go that way then. Okay, so is this the other side of the house or is this Okay. Who's that? No, don't be trapped. Creator's block. Why would you have creator's block? Um, okay. I'm just going to freak out now. Also, I must apologise if you hear me sniffing that I have come down the cold. It's not man flu, it's just a normal cold. Okay. Where's what, what? Where's the where's one day? Don't forget the. June 9th, don't forget. Is that a recycle or something then? Son, have you sleep in this bed for a while? I've not got out. Thank you. 
September 15, more notes today, even worse than before. The sad part is, I agree with every word. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. This walk sounds very similar to a heartbeat. Um, to be honest, I can't say the letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you've had people who their advice in this matter. While it's both understandable for a patient to have a second opinion, I think 16 of her own opinions will be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have been summoned the case solely. Out of concern with my colleagues, the broken muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have some burns, as well as your wife's did. What you can think, what you refer to as the speaker's grip or unnerving yelp, the radio finds the questions hurtful, can indeed be mass manifestations of nerve damage. That's something you mentioned, do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological. Next. Uh, dramatic events can lead to severe stress and are starting to be ashamed of. As your one that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through could not be undone with one simple procedure. It's a long, arduous process that require all the good support. Please feel free, feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you to discuss a long term rehabilitation program. This is Silly Robert Richards MD and other quack. Quack. Yeah, um. This is going to be a street, I think, just for the swearing. So. Fire. Oh God. Is she which hospital? I'm on my way. There we go. So if you kept going around normally, then you would have come up it'd been big basically would have been an invert loop where it would have just been the case of it kept falling until you kept missing and falling. Restless memories. So yeah, that's a good way of doing it. So when you come up to that bit, just turn the other way. <laughs> Okay, either we're upside down or right way up. Flapping horror, be quiet. Constantly flapping, eating other rats. A 
that crap. In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a choice. Of, choice? No, a chance of winning this plea. I've got a plan out of deeper mess than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while. Let me appeal in the court order. The appeal in the court order. This social worker definitely has the in for you, which we can use at our advantage. Betraying portray you as a victim of the system, a husband in mourning, momentary lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling, better yet, no more public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your door So obviously, the courts or the social workers too. Looks like he had a child. Actually, did realize he had a child. But yeah, looks like he had a child at some point, which got taken away because of schizophrenia or whatever you want to call it. Or psychosis. So not just you said, this has happened to me as well. So.
body bar is feeding on me, driving me insane, too fast to cut out. Okay, that's a bit worrying. So what's going to happen to us? Is there a little on our soul? From love to madness, a man apprehended after kidnapping his own daughter. Early today, typically quiet and peaceful heat, peaceful wet neighbourhood witnessed the scene straight out of a um, crime drama. As social services accompanied by armed police officers descend upon the residence of uh, once famous paid uh, reason and a reason widow, apparently the man broke into the children's care centre downtown and, uh, and absconded with one of the young patients. Our sources claim that the girl was in fact the culprit's daughter who had previously been removed from his care after family court ruling after unsuccessful attempts at negotiations, fearing that the man might harm the child. Police officers stormed the building and apprehended the suspect. Others claim that as paramedics escorted the girl out of the house, the man, still in handcuffs, fell to his knees, repeated, repeated to his knees and repeatedly exclaimed, Please, it's all I have left. A truly tragic turn of events. So it looks like they were unsuccessful with their counterclaims. Which one was the else that should be going? So it's only one way for us to go then. Damien Tread, patient, thirsty, very religious, afraid to look up.
Okay, what happened? This room was full. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Wait, what? This was full. Now it's empty. Now it's full again. What? here. Hope you enjoyed this one. I know I did and I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye bye for now.